One of the three pillars of AIM2 is unity, as well as life and economic justice. We've just put together a two-part series for you on this very important issue of, of unity and how it is viewed in Ireland today. This is the first of the series and in this we are going to look at the importance of the 1916 to 1921 period in our history. The fight for freedom from the British Empire was difficult. It brought about a lot of debt and it has left our country divided. In AIM2, we continue with our commitment to a united Ireland, using peaceful methods and incorporating the diversity of everyone, Catholics, Protestant and dissenter alike. Unity is still very important and it is a very sensitive issue in Ireland, even among the younger generations. And this became very clear in the recent debacle where Charlie Flanagan proposed that we commemorate the RIC which included their close ties with the Black and Tans. Two weeks later, Komochi Black and Tans topped the charts in Ireland, and shortly after that, the majority of young people voted for Sinn Féin in the general election. From our perspective, neither Fianna Fáil or Fianna Gael are true Republicans, and they're not striving for opportunities or creating options that could lead to a united Ireland. Sinn Féin, in the meantime, had no difficulty running off to London, cap in hand, pleading with Westminster to impose draconian abortion laws into the north of Ireland against the wishes of the majority of the people living there. They're more than willing to sit down with their overlords when it suits their own political agenda. So in this video today, we're looking at just a small selection of the Republican monuments scattered around County Cork and we're speaking to some people with close ties to the events that happened at these sites. It's very clear from the number of monuments and the passion with which they are visited and maintained by so many people that the events of this period are still very important to the people of County Cork. Our very first stop of the day is in Ross Carberry, down by the coast, where we visit a monument which celebrates the lives of three Irish heroes. Lorraine, will you tell us about these three people? Introduce them to us. Well, we have three patriots here commemorated. Um, first is Fenian leader Jeremiah O'Donovan Rossa, followed by um, General Tom Barry and Michael okay. Collins. So, O'Donovan Rossa, what do we know about him? Um, he was from uh, Rinus Greena, a village close to Ross Carberry, and he was a pioneering Fenian IRB leader in the 1800s. Lovely, excellent. Mary is going to tell us a little bit about Tom Barry, but before that, Lorraine has something she wants to share with us. Yeah, Tom Barry actually gave my mother away in 1970 on her wedding day as her, her father fought with Tom Barry in the War of Independence. Amazing, amazing. Mary, tell us a little bit about Tom Barry. Well, Tom Barry was one of the greatest guerrilla warfare fighters in the whole world. He, without Tom Barry's expertise, the Third West Cork Brigade would have been wiped out during the War of Independence. His book, Guerrilla Days in Ireland, is, has been read by the students at the Military Academy at West Point in the United States of America. What a privilege it must uh, be knowing, knowing him that he gave you away. It was a great privilege. He was a gentleman and he was an exceptionally brave Irishman. Excellent. Thank Last you, Mary. Last but not least is Michael Collins. Lorraine, Will you give us a few sentences on Michael Collins? Yeah, Michael Collins was born in Sam's Cross, a townland between Ross Carberry and Clonakilty, and he actually spent his last day here on the 22nd of August 1922 before he was killed in Bay on the Paw. He returned to Ireland to get involved in the 1916 Rising, followed by the War of Independence, and was involved in the negotiations of the treaty. So when we think of Michael Collins, what are some words that spring to mind? He was considered um, a revolutionary, a politician and a fighter and we go down in history as one of the greatest heroes in Ireland. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks Lorraine we'll, we'll and thank you Mary. History. We're now moving to another location, Kilmichael, 
in West Cork, which was one of the scenes of the most important battles in the War of Independence. We are here at another site in Cork and I'm joined by Mary Corkery Dean and her daughter Lorraine Dean Ross who is actually a representative for the West Cork area as well. So Mary, will you tell us uh, what is the name of this site and what happened here? This is the site of the Kilmichael ambush and it happened, the ambush took place on the 28th day of November 1920 and the Irish were led by General Tom Barry and they wiped out the whole regiment of the British armed forces who were involved in the ambush apart from one man who survived, just one. And this ambush is the turning point of the War of Independence in Ireland. Fantastic. Yeah. Can you tell me how many people were actually killed here on that day? Well, I think about 17 or 18 British soldiers were killed and three Irish men lost their lives as a result of the British shouting, we surrender, when in fact they did not surrender because they shot the three Irish men who stood up. Thank you very much, that's brilliant. Thank you, Mary. We've just skipped down the road to Dunmanway to a monument whose name is well known among Irish GA fans. We are here at the statue of Sam McGuire in Dunmanway in West Cork. With us is Lorraine and her mother, Mary. Lorraine is Sam McGuire's third cousin. So Lorraine, I'll ask you to tell us a little bit about Sam McGuire's life. Uh, Sam McGuire was born in Malabraca, just outside Dunmanway, and he was a Protestant and he joined the GPO in, in London as a civil servant. Um, he worked there um, for 25 years, intercepting mail as chief um, intelligence officer on behalf of the Irish Republican Brotherhood, to whom he was a IRB and they were devoted friends for many years. Why is the Sam McGuire Cup actually named after Sam McGuire? Uh, because Sam McGuire was captain of the Irish Hibernian GA Club in London and he recruited many Irish people into the organisation and collecting funds and gathering arms which were dispatched back to Ireland for the cause. What was the use of Sam's intelligence to the IRB and the IRA? Well, the IRB evolved into the IRA and um, it helped with the 1916 Easter Rising and the War of Independence of 1919 to 1921. The next monument that we visit is at the northwest corner of Cork City. We're here at the Ballycannon Monument in Cloheen, Kerry Pike, and Finian Toomey is going to speak to us about what happened here many, many years ago that gave rise to this monument being erected? Finian. Thanks a million, Becky. On the 24th of March 1921, there was a massacre here in uh, Ballycannon in a farm just over my left shoulder here that was owned by Cornelius O'Keefe. Cornelius O'Keefe's farm was about 105 acres. It was a known safe house within the Republican movement. It had a lot of outbuildings, it was a fairly substantial farm and he was a well-got well Republican in the area. On the night of the 24th of March in 1921, six members of the IRA were in hiding in the safe house in Ballycannon. At 4.30am in the morning, shots were heard by the local school principal in the area of the O'Keefe's farm. By the time Cornelius O'Keefe came out, there were five bodies covered in his front yard and a six man was taken out from the building. He presumed he was alive in a sworn statement and they were loaded into an army vehicle and removed to Cock Barracks. As was Cornelius, he was also arrested and moved to Cock Barracks where he was released a couple of weeks later. 
Thank you. You Finian. might tell us the names of those six IRA members and their ages if you have them, please. I have indeed. The first was volunteer Thomas Dennehy, 164 Barrack Street, and he was aged 21 years of age. The second was volunteer Daniel Crowley, 171 Blarney Street, and he was 22 years of age. The third was volunteer Jeremiah O'Malan from 227 Blarney Street, aged 22 years of age. The fifth was volunteer William DC, Mount Desert, Blarney Road, aged 20 years. Volunteer Michael O'Sullivan, 281 Blarney Street, age 20 years. Volunteer Daniel Murphy, Orrery Hill, aged 24 years. They were all members of the C Company, Battalion 1, Cork Brigade, Irish Republican Army, and were murdered on the 23rd of March 1921 here in Clohean. Amen. Excellent. Thank you, Finian. Our final monument is just down the road on Bellarney Street in Cork City. We've just come from the site in Ballycannon and we're now at the top of Bellarney Street where Finian is going to talk to us a little bit about this site. Basically, this is the spot where Dennis Joseph Spriggs was shot on the 8th of July in 1921. Uh, Dennis was 19 years of age volunteer when he was shot. He was living on Strawberry Hill, which is only just a couple of hundred yards down the road here on the left hand side. He was removed from his house, taken in a crossly tender, uh, arrested um, in the early hours of the morning, while had visited his home uh, in a safe house environment. Somebody had um, given information and he was taken into the crossly, brought up Blarney Street, and the reports state that the door at the back of the Crossley opened and Dennis uh, tried to escape. Um, he was shot by one of the officers in the Crossley tender and was dead by the time he hit the ground uh, at 19 years of age. He's buried in the Republican plot in St Finbar Cemetery as are the six volunteers who were shot in Ballycannon which we visited earlier. Thank you very much Finian. That completes our journey around part of County Cork and in a way an introduction to the Irish fight for freedom not yet completed. The question is, where are the heroes of today and who are they going to be? Who is going to take up the cause of Irish freedom among the upcoming generations? In our next video we will discuss some of these core questions with a professional Irish historian. Hope you enjoyed the trip around Cork. Remember, hit subscribe and if you already haven't done so, be sure to like this video and share it with your friends.